Hey guys, Mark with Think Insurance, and today we're going to talk about progressive and snapshot, sort of. So stay tuned, we're going to dive right into this. There's actually a new version of snapshot, which I think is going to be a huge game changer. Typically, drivers who switch to progressive save on average about $750. That's their claim to fame on their website, and I've seen it. I actually, progressive is one of the most competitive companies that I've seen in general. They're really good with certain categories and certain profiles, and they know what type of client they want. And when you know that, you can price it almost perfectly. That's one of the reasons Progressive has been just crushing it. I made a video recently that talks about that here. I also made another video uh, similar to that, which actually claimed Progressive as one of the top companies in general for 2020. Now, that's not to say that they're only the best for everybody. For me, they weren't the best fit. Now I'm actually gonna try this new thing that they're gonna do. I'm gonna start this today, and I hope you guys also try this as well. Try it with me, let me know in the comments below. It's a 30-day trial. Let's all see what everybody does. A little bit of a disclosure. This is not an affiliate link, at least today, and in about 30 days, if you've tried it and you've gotten it and you refer other people, then you can actually get a little affiliate commissions from Amazon. They give you a little gift card. I'm gonna put that there, because I'm gonna try it. <laughs> it's gonna be cool. And if I like it or don't like it, I'll let you know in a another video, but I'll also link that below for you. From an agent's aspect, what I've seen with Progressive is their snapshot really hasn't made a huge impact. They really coined the snapshot portion of it because whenever I talk to customers, I explain their telematics or their usage-based driving systems as snapshot because that's just what everybody thinks of and it's just a quick way for people to quickly understand what you're talking about. So if I'm selling a Safeco policy or a state auto policy, I'll just say it's similar to Snapshot. And oh, okay, I get it, that makes sense. Now the discount is typically about a 10% upfront discount with Progressive. So if you're already a client and you wanna try their Snapshot, you're gonna get a discount right away. That's the great part about it. On average, I think they said they save about $37 upfront. So it's not a night and day difference, but when the policy renews, if you have a six month or a 12 month policy, once that renews, that discount goes away, but it's replaced by the new discount, which is going to be whatever your driving history has shown them as good of a driver as you are. Don't be afraid. It's not something to be scared of. There's a couple of you out there like myself that know you're not going to do well with this. So me personally, I'm curious to see how it works and what rates I get for this because I have my phone on all the time. It's playing some sort of music, it's playing YouTube and face down in my car, so it thinks that I'm watching movies while driving down the car. I'm very curious to see what Progressive says about that. On average, eight out of 10 people save money in the renewal. So when you're going forward and you've done Snapshot for six months or 12 months, whether it's the app on your phone or the plug-in device that you can plug into your car, Typically, they only see an increase for about two out of 10 people. That's their average. Now, the people that renew, this is the really cool part, when they renew their policy and that snapshot discount takes place, they're averaging about $145 discount per policy. So those of you that are that seven out of 10 or eight out of 10 drivers, you're gonna typically see a really good discount going forward. If you've already liked Progressive and you want a bigger savings, that's the place to do it. So before we dive into the actual specifics on what you should know about the driving with Snapshot, let's talk about their new program. They're still calling it Snapshot, but what it is is they're offering it ahead of time. So now what they're doing is they're allowing you to do a 30-day trial where you can not be with Progressive at all. You can sign up with their program and you can just have it track your driving and they'll tell you if you'll get a discount in 30 days. The cool part is if you just wanna see your driving history, within 15 days, they'll tell you how you're doing. And then you can either improve or just continue driving as you do. At the end of that 30 day, they're gonna give you an offer and tell you, hey, we like the way you drive, here's what your discount would be. Or hey, we don't love the way you drive, so here's a $10 off, <laughs> and then I'm not gonna switch, right? It's probably not worth it to me to do that at that point. But if I can save 150, that's the average. That means that some people are saving 60, some people are saving 200. And so there's a lot of give and take depending on your driving history. Keep in mind, I don't believe you can continuously try this. So I think you only get one shot. It's very similar to a company called Root Insurance. 
I'll link up my review on them there as well if you want to watch that. But they do a drive test ahead of time and then they allow to give discounts up to 30 or even 40% right up front. So that's kind of similar to what Progressive is following that path where Root Insurance, the only negative is they're not in all of the states. So they've got a little bit of a restriction and they only do auto insurance. So they're not allowing you to bundle and get those extra discounts that you would typically get. They also push that driving discount way more. That's 40 to 60% of their push is to test your driving where Progressive rates a lot of other things. They're rating where do you live? What's the average claim rate there? What are the, the profile fittings? So you know if you're a really good fit, you're probably gonna get a way better deal with Progressive than you would with Root. If you're not a good fit, you're gonna comment below, and I love it, do it. You're gonna get a better discount with Root, but I would say most of the time, I would put my money on Progressive being the overall best fit because of all those multi-policy discounts and the longevity discounts. And if you have a motorcycle or mobile home, those are all talked about in that previous video, but that's just some of the stuff that they do really, really well. You don't have to take my word for it. If you wanna try it out, I'll put it in the description below, but let's dive into what they're actually looking at and how can you realize if you're going to be a good fit before even downloading the app. So I've personally dealt with tons of companies that have done this in the past, and they really haven't been that successful. The ones that do fairly good with them are the ones that are really risky and they make you do one that can either give you a 25% discount or a 25% increase. And most companies don't do that mainly because it just doesn't benefit the overall book of business that they're trying to build. So here's what Progressive is looking for. They want to make sure they're tracking the typical things. How fast are you braking? How quick do you accelerate? Where do you drive? What hours are you driving? Those types of risks and whether your phone's being used for texting and phone calls while you're driving, are you doing distractive? That's a major, major player and the biggest reason that people do or don't get a discount with any of those systems. What they've said on their website is they said, if you're driving between the hours of 12 a.m. to 4 p.m., that's gonna be probably the worst time to get rated on. So if you're that type of driver, Still might be worth it to try. I'm curious if you do let me know in the comments below what kind of discount they offered, but that's the least likely. They don't always track every single trip. And once you've downloaded the app, you agree to the terms and conditions and it will start tracking. Now you can close the app, you can shut your phone down. As long as you don't have the phone off, it will automatically detect when your speed goes fast enough, it's gonna start logging that trip. It's basically watching where you're going when you're going there, how fast you're getting there, and anything that gets in the way. They are cognizant of the fact that you may have to slam on the brakes every once in a while. If a deer jumps out, it's in their commercial. They know that, right? They understand that part of it. So they're not necessarily gonna hit you heavy for things like that, but if it's constant, then they're gonna notice that and they're gonna put that as a less of a discount for you. So some tips that you should know is while you're doing that, try to drive as best as you can. Drive normal, don't get too overwhelmed with it, at the end of the day, you may not be the best fit and then you have no loss there. You can delete the app and move on. One of the questions that I had was once the 30 days passes, are they still collecting your information? And the answer is no. I'm actually very impressed with that. So they said that they're not tracking it. it. Hits 30 days, it just stops. Now I also pulled up their website because I wanted to read some of the disclosures. I also did the State Farms Drive Safe and Save, which is very similar. Uh, it doesn't give you a 30 day trial, which is the part that I like the most but I pulled up their disclosure because I wanted to see where they're sharing your information. That's the biggest thing that people don't love about these snapshot devices is, what are you doing with my information? So this is straight from Progressive. It says that we may disclose to third-party sources data to others. We may share personal, personally identifiable snapshot data th to third parties to service your insurance. That did scare me a little bit because the third party sources, I don't like getting advertisements. In most companies, if you've seen other insurance companies, they tend to want to collect as much, as much information. Sometimes they'll even sell that data. So what I did is I found that there's actually a way to opt out of that portion without losing the discounts you can simply call this number and I'll put it down below, but there's a phone number that you can call. You can remove or restrict those third party sources so that you're not getting constantly advertised against. Either way, I'm not too worried about that because the data that it actually collects is very minimal. It's not collecting your personal data. Actually, one of the questions in there was, do you see when I'm making phone calls or who I'm texting? And the answer is no. So they're not tracking that part. They're only tracking the location-based places, the speeds, 
and the amount of time that you have, how quickly your car goes from 60 to zero and from zero to 60 to see how quick and slow that you're speeding up and slowing down. So it's up to you at this point. I'd love your comments below and let me know what you guys thought. Is this something that any of you have tried or have you done it with a different company and had a different experience? They would be very curious to see what happens. I'm gonna do a follow-up video because I am gonna test this out. I'm gonna download the app myself. I'm gonna probably have my wife do it as well to see what her results are. I guarantee you hers are way better than mine. At the end of the day, the government does regulate what they can and can't share. As you've noticed with all of the news of, of sharing data across different countries and whatnot, the government is very, very specific that they don't want that data going in certain hands. It's not something that I'm personally afraid of. I've seen different apps that collect data left and right. If you have TikTok on your phone, you pretty much know what that whole story is all about. At the end of the day, it's something I'm interested in. Let me know what you guys think. I'm Mark with Think Insurance. I will see you in the next one.